because it's a family business. The true free range, as you can see how happy they are. On some of Victoria's greenest fields, these chickens are free to roam, under the watch of fluffy white Marama dogs. So the dogs don't require any training, it's their natural instinct. In history they were Italian sheep dogs and they protect day and night, so from hawks and eagles during the day and foxes at night, just by monitoring the perimeter like security. Cattle and sheep farmers Jill and Kate Warner set up the business to produce superior free-range eggs. They're chickens housed in purpose-built caravans that can be moved around to help fertilise the fields. So the caravan concept is that the birds are free to come and go whenever they like inside the caravan. Uh, perching rails where they come and sleep at night time and a nesting boxes in the middle. It's on a gradient so they can hop in there, lay their eggs and then the eggs roll into the centre and then we use a conveyor belt to roll the eggs out to the person collecting. This is our grading machine. And the eggs come through, go over a light where we look for cracks and infections. As we take those eggs out, the rest come through and get sent with our pick code, so they're traced back to our farm and then they're weighed on a counterway system and packaged up ready to go out to shops and cafes. That's it. Okay. Yep. Yep. Rising demand for free range eggs has seen this business grow from supplying 2,800 eggs a week to 28,000 in just four years. I prefer to use free range produce wherever possible. Chooks are running around in paddocks. The, um, they're in the sun, they're enjoying their lives. And it's not just cooks who are catching on. Our customers are local grocers, uh, restaurants and cafes down at Warrnambool, across to Geelong and into Melbourne as well. Egg farming is a labour intensive business and the Warners hope one day to employ managers so they can take a break from their busy routine. Well, we can have a holiday but we can't have one together. <laughs> As a rule we'd work seven days a week and we'd work until we get up in the morning until basically go to bed at night. The Warners joined other local producers to share their experiences at a Changing Places through food event at Kuroit in Victoria's southwest. This is Victoria Local Events, is the Victorian Government's new year-round small business events program. Events like this are incredibly important because innovative businesses have the real potential to enliven the whole district. We've got a little uh, artisan chocolate shop in Port Ferry. Many rural producers work in isolation, so events like this give them an opportunity to get to know each other and share information. These local events prioritise skills training for newly arrived migrants, refugees, unemployed people, women, Aboriginal businesses and those people with disabilities. World famous chef Dan Hunter owns Bray Restaurant, previously listed among the world's top 50. Last financial year alone, we injected $1.7 million into the Birigar economy just through payroll. We actively focus on sourcing locally, employing local people and supporting our community. And there's no better way than to get people excited about your produce than to have it celebrated in a restaurant like ours. I think it encourages me to reach out to other small producers and work together to create a greater, I guess, noise that people recognise us in regional Victoria. I think they're really important and it's a brilliant initiative of the state government and the local councils to do it um, because it, gives, it brings the topic of conversation uh, and gives it some uh, airplay and encourages people to talk about it and connect through these events. Oh look, I think it was a good opportunity to be able to connect with some local growers and people working in the hospitality business in this area.